What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today's video I'm going to show you how to paint your brake calipers on your BMW E90. So here's my car with the front stop tech big brake kit and stock rear brake calipers. So as you can see, it doesn't really flow. I mean, the red pops in the front, the back is plain. So when I spoke to stop tech at SEMA, they said on these cars, the rear big brake kit is mainly for looks and also for pad selection. Um, for other types of cars where the brake, the rear brakes kick in when you're at the track, then you probably want to go with the big brake kit in the rear because you're gonna have overheating issues. But when I drive on the track, I make sure that the traction control and the stability control is completely off. So there's no rear brake pad engagement when I'm on the track without me stepping on the brakes. So I want to get the big brake kit in the rear for the looks, but in the meantime, I'm just going to paint the rotors um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So this is the paint I'm going with, VHT high temperature caliper paint. It's called Real Red and it's pretty close to the uh, stop tech color. So I just took off the wheels. And now we're going to get to prepping the uh, calipers. I don't really care about painting the inside because no one's going to see that. I'm really concerned about painting the outside where people can see. So we're going to remove this the spring clip right here. Easy way to remove the spring clip is to basically push it and then use a screwdriver and then pry that off. And the whole thing with, just comes out. So we're going to paint this separately. Spray it down with some brake clean. So you can lightly sand this down. I'm using 180 grit sandpaper, but you can use whatever just to, you know, trying to get off the dust specks. Continue to, you know, clean it with brake, brake clean and wipe it down. So the cleaner you have it for, for painting, the better it's gonna look. And again, this is just a quick and easy way to do it. Um, to remove the caliper, you just use an H7 um, hex bit and there's Two, two spots in the rear for that. And to remove the uh, caliper bracket, it's just two 16 millimeter bolts. The brake caliper bracket comes off. And we're not gonna pull the caliper off the lines because if you do, then you're gonna have to bleed the lines. Um, so we're just trying to give us better access. So you can paint this, at least the front side in detail. The back side, you know, not so much. No one's gonna see that paint the spring clip separately. The caliper, we're gonna just tape around it and uh, get access to painting that. So I'm gonna paint the caliper bracket and the spring clip first. So you wanna spray a couple of light coats before you lay it on thicker. So now we're gonna spray the caliper. Make sure that you tape up in between the caliper so you don't spray the actual piston. And I'm gonna focus on spraying the outside. So a few light coats before I spray it on thicker. First coat is done. Here's something different. Basically I just removed the pad and reinstalled the caliper without the pad. Taped up uh, this part of the brake rotor. I'm gonna spin it so it covers in between there. Just make sure that uh, if you have an LSD, the other side's gonna spin, which just happened to me. The driver's side is taped up, so now I'm about to spray a light coat. So everything is nice and dry. I'm gonna reinstall the caliper bracket and um, torque it to 50 foot-pounds and then torque the caliper to 22 foot-pounds. So they're done. This is pretty much how they look. And here's the other side. Make sure when you reinstall the brake pads you put a little bit of the uh, 
the uh, brake pad um, lubricant um, so the pad still slides nice and smoothly on the uh, the calipers and then at the same time um, make sure you pump the brakes before you uh, take off and drive your car and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when the wheels mount it so the front brakes the rear brakes looks a little bit better it matches now hope you guys enjoyed the video Thanks for watching.